Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be talking about the uh, Starry Winter Night Dokkan Festival banner that's going to be dropping on Global in less than, or sorry, just over 24 hours from now. And, uh, you know, this banner has definitely been getting some hype around it. Uh, I've been getting some questions from people asking me whether I feel like it's worth spending stones on, especially because we have the New Year Step Up banner dropping in less than a month. We have the uh, Fusions of Masu banner, and so on and so forth, right? So in this video, we are going to be breaking down uh, the banner itself, all the units that are featured, and I'll give you guys my opinion about how good this banner actually is. So with that said, uh, what we have on the screen right now is the Tenabata banner from JP a few months ago, but the global uh, Starry Winter Night banner will be basically identical to this one. So scrolling down a little bit here, we have 20 featured SSRs on this banner, uh, from the new Int, LR, Trunks, and Vegeta, to the new AGL Goku Black, and then we have the 7th Anniversary LR Gods, as well as the LR Super Saiyan 4s. We have the Tech, Goku, and Vegeta, slash Gogeta, uh, Fizz Blue Boys, Tech, Go Bros, and then some uh, non-LR Dokkan Fest, the Int, Super Saiyan 2, Angel Goku, Tech, Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, Int UI Goku, AGL Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Vegeta, Tech Hit, Tech Trunks, AGL Zamasu, Tech Fusion Zamasu, uh, Int Spirit Sword Trunks, Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Fizz Vegito Blue, AGL um, Rose, and finally the Fizz Goku Black. So once again, 20 SSRs in total, and obviously some really, really good units on this banner. Um, the highlights, of course, are the Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Super Saiyan Trunks, and also the 7th Anniversary LRs. I think most people that are summoning on this banner would ideally pull one of these three, or all three, right? So, um, the value here is definitely pretty, pretty good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the fact that there are 20 SSRs featured means that your individual rate to pull each unit is going to be much lower than your average Dogon Festival banner. So. Taking a look at the featured SSR rate, we have a 5% SSR pull rate for the featured units, uh, which is standard, but because it's 20 units divided by, or rather 5% divided by 20 featured units, you're only getting a 0.25% pull rate for each one compared to the 0.5% for the Trunks and Vegeta banner, and also the, on average, I think 0 0.7, is it 0.75% or? 0.7, it's something like 0.71 to 0.75 for your average Dokkan Festival banner with like 7 featured SSRs, right? So once again, just a much lower rate to pull each individual SSR so that um, what that means is that, you know, if you're going for one specific SSR like the Trunks and Vegeta or the Super Saiyan 4s, uh, the likelihood of that happening is going to be a little bit low, right? On top of that, we do have quite a few old SSRs featured here, like the Fizz Goku Black, for example, even with an Extreme Z Awakening, is actually really, really bad. Like, this guy is, I would say at this point, borderline unusable, so uh, not a great unit right there. The Rose is a good support unit, but offensively, not that great. Defensively, not that great, so you're only really using him as a extreme support, and then on top of that, we have, like, Tech Trunks and AGL Zamasu that are okay, but still quite outdated and definitely need Extreme Z Awakenings. Uh, Tech Fusion Zamasu uh, has an Extreme Z Awakening, not that good. Uh, Int Trunks here, kind of the same thing, you know, has an EZA. Definitely usable, but probably not ideal on most teams. Uh, same thing with the Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Uh, the Fizz Vegito Blue is still, I would say, quite solid, so that's a good pull. Uh, tech hit can be good on Super Battle Road and other events where you can uh, stun the enemy, but on certain events like uh, Legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball History where you can't stun the enemy, he's definitely a lot less effective. Uh, AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, still really good. NTY Goku, still really good. These guys, the Super Saiyan 2s, um, I would say they're solid still. You know, they do... Uh, require Extreme Z Awakenings, but even without EZAs right now, still very much usable, still quite 
effective on a lot of events. Um, and of course, once they get those Supreme Awakenings, they're going to be really, really good, right? So I wouldn't be upset about pulling these ones. And then the other guys, I think, are all featured. I mean, aside from the 7th Anniversary LRs, these three, the uh, Tech Gogeta, Fizz, Blue Boys, and Tech uh, Go Bros, I think are all featured on the uh, Int, LR, Trunks, and Vegeta banner right now. So yeah, these three are still... I mean, okay, so the Gogeta is very good still. The Blue Boys and the Tech Go Bros, I think, are now a tier below. Not to say they're bad, but they're not as good to me as the Gogeta. And obviously, the 7th Anniversary LRs, I mean, the uh, the Gods and the Super Saiyan 4s, these two are still monsters. These, these two are still two of the best units in the entire game, so they would definitely be amazing pulls, especially for people that don't have them, right? And uh, the Goku Black is a fine side unit. He actually isn't that impressive to me, despite being the newest, like, banner non dokkan best unit. Um, I just think he's okay. But these guys are amazing, right? The Trunks and Vegeta are absolutely phenomenal. So if you pull them on this banner, that's a huge win. And uh, yeah, those are the featured units, guys. Like I said, 20 featured, featured SSRs. Not all of them are going to be good pulls. So that's a bit of a problem, but uh, at the top end here, you know, with these LRs and some of the Dokkan Fest units too, you do have at least half the banner being really good pulls. So uh, that is the banner right there, and if there were like no additional uh, features to this banner, let's say it was just like a standard banner, 50 stones per multi, no discounts, no tickets, anything like that, then I would actually recommend that you either skip or only spend like a few multis because you know even though the value's there there are some other factors that i don't love about it like you know all the featured ssrs and all the old ssrs and all that stuff but that's not going to be the case because we know from the news that there's not only going to be 120 hours of super multi discount which is uh, you would assume three plus one discount so three full price multis and then the fourth multi is free for the first 120 hours but on top of that we are also getting this starry winter night dokkan festival ticket summon and this uh, most likely means that we're going to be getting tickets as we summon on the banner so for the like paid multis the 50 stone multis we're getting most likely three tickets per multi and then obviously no tickets for the free multi right but there's going to be the discount there's going to be the tickets for summoning and uh, if you guys are pay to play, there's also going to be the premium Dokkan Festival tickets. And of course, we also have the uh, tons of thanks tickets or the rainbow tickets, which everyone should have 21 of uh, by the time the banner drops. So that's basically, you know, two multis for free right there, right? So do your free multis, of course. But on top of that, if you want, you can also get discounts for the first 120 hours or roughly, what is that, five days? And uh, also the tickets for doing summons right here so there's definitely a lot of like incentives to summon on this banner and i think they did a pretty good job of uh making this banner as attractive as possible and for that reason i do think it's actually quite a good banner to spend some stones on because of all the additional value you're getting uh you know from the uh discounts and from the tickets and you know, of course, from the featured units as well. So value-wise, with all those things considered, with all those factors, quite good. I'm going to give this banner like a 8 out of 10, you know, and the only reason it's not higher is because there's way too many SSRs, and there's way too many SSRs that are just outdated at this point, right? So um, yeah, 8 out of 10, which is actually really good. It's, I think, much higher than I've ever rated one of these banners. And uh, if you guys want to summon on it, I mean, if you are missing at least, I would say, two out of three of the uh, seventh anniversary band uh, LRs and also the Trunks and Vegeta, like if you're missing two out of the three of those, then you should definitely summon. If you're missing only one, then maybe do a round, do like the three plus one, get your tickets, do those tickets, do your free, uh, your free rainbow tickets and then maybe call it a day from there because i still don't think anybody should be spending too many stones on this banner i don't think that this banner is worth like wailing out on right but it's definitely worth dropping 
a couple of multis, maybe one or two rounds, maybe even three rounds if you're, if you're feeling crazy, but um, don't go too wild because as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are getting Fusion Zamasu. We are getting uh, the Christmas, or sorry, the New Year's step up banner with at least four rounds of guaranteed LRs. So those are banners you want to save stones for, especially the step up, right? So um, yeah, that's how I feel about it. I think the banner is not bad. I don't think it's a bad idea to summon on it for sure, but just the uh, try to save some stones for the other stuff coming later this month because we got some pretty good stuff around the corner, right? And of course, there's also the fact that we might be getting Beast Gohan soon. We might be. I don't think anything's been confirmed. I haven't seen any official news, but a lot of people are talking on Twitter. Some of the leakers are talking and there's the potential for a Beast Gohan release either sometime December, I would say mid to late December or maybe January. We'll see, right? But soon, right? Sooner than later. So uh, definitely keep that in mind as well when you decide whether you want to spend stones or not because as, as enticing as the 7th anniversary LRs are and as enticing as Trunks and Vegeta are, I have no doubt that Beast Gohan is going to be better than all three of them, right? So yeah, don't uh, don't spend all your stones on this banner. That's the point. But spend some stones if you want. That's not a bad idea. So that is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this banner, whether you do plan to spend uh, stones on it, and if so, then how many stones you have saved for this banner right here. And also, who do you need from this banner? I mean, I'm guessing most people still want the Trunks and Vegeta, still want the 7th anniversary outlars, but aside from that, do you want the Blue Boys? Do you want the you know, UI Goku or somebody else? Let me know in the comments. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully watching this video helped you a little bit in making your decision. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.